Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel TNR. I hope you all are well. So let's start today's video. Starting off today's video, I'm making something different. I'm making Halloween based jewelry items. So I have bought this mold, uh, this cuff mold from Amazon. So I will link in my description. But I, I think there are different sizes for these mold according to the size of your wrist. So you can buy it as you wish. So here I have mixed my resin. I have taken a low viscosity resin here and I am using resin by Craft Resin. So it's really perfect for this uh, item here. So I'm just pouring first layer of resin into the mold now because I am going to create some sort of, you can say, a smoky, bloody effect. So just I'm checking for the air bubbles that are trapped inside the mold because this is actually a bit of you can say thin mold so there are so many chances that there will be bubbles in the corner so i with my popsicle stick very slowly i moved it all around and now with my heat gun i am using a little bit of heat so just to let you know that this heat gun is very on on a very low setting its heat is very less so there are very less chances that i could destroy the mold so after doing that I will be mixing this pigment into uh, some resin so actually I will be adding a very little amount of this color because it's really really concentrated so I just uh, touch the tip of this popsicle stick into the color and now I'm adding some resin actually I added a little bit of more resin uh, just a drop a little few drops of resin was enough because I'm going to create the smoky effect and for this I really don't want a very, you can say, you know, thin color. I need a darker pigment. So I'm just checking on that. So actually I was going to remove this part but I thought this is going to be something really important to uh, for all you to see. That I am pouring this color into the mold here and I'm not happy about it because the color is really uh, on the lighter side. I really want a thick pigment for this effect. So here I have taken another container. So again I'm taking the pigment just this much and I will be pouring this resin from this one. But you can see I will be pouring very less this time. Just this much, this much is enough. So I think I'm happy with the color now. So this is the color I'm going for. And now I will be uh, dropping drops into the mold. So actually I was checking that if I can pour from the container. but it's not working so I'm adding some more resin into the mold and this much is perfect for creating the effect I haven't made bracelet like these before so this is this was my first time so actually I was uh, you know experimenting myself so before I did the half filling of the mold then I I think it's uh, I need more resin for creating the effect so I have to uh, fill it but it's still not topped up again I'm using my heat gun to remove all the bubbles that are trapped inside So now with my popsicle stick I will be pouring this resin in a form of a drop shape into the mold. And after that now I will be filling the mold with the rest of the resin. So in this way it helps to push the color down and it will create the effect. So an hour later it looks like that so I will leave this to cure and see you next day. So this is the next day and let's see how the 
cuff turned out so before doing that i had some extra resin so i poured into this mold so i thought why not make some pendant out of that so i really love how it looks perfect for this halloween look and now i will be demolding the cuff bracelet and coming out of the mold here how it looks like So this is how it looks like and I actually really love how the effect looks like and you can see the drop here it looks like some sort of blood droppings so just in love with that and really happy how the smoky effect that I wanted to give it really came out amazing I love it so let's see how it looks like <laughs> So after making this one, I thought why not make another one. So before making another one, there is one step more that I have to do. And I have to do a top coat on the side that was up on the mold. So it's a bit on the, you can say, sharp side. So I will be doing a little bit of top coat on that area. So the sharpness get away in this way. So it's done now and on to the second one. So this one I was thinking to make uh, a black smoky effect. So I'm using here. I have mixed already my resin. So it's again craft resin and it's one to one uh, low viscosity resin. I have a discount code available for this resin in my description if you like to treat yourself. So it, this resin is perfect for making effects if you're interested in creating the flowers or the effects. Also, again, I'm just pouring the resin into the mold, carefully avoiding the air bubbles. So here I'm showing you real time that you can see there are few bubbles in the resin, but uh, don't worry, we will remove them. So for this reason, I pour resin in layers so that we can uh, remove the bubbles. So you can see here I have my resin in the mold and now I'm using my heat gun. And for a few seconds, I will be using the heat gun. And after that, I will be using my silicone tool to remove all the bubbles from all the corners. So here I'm using my tool and I am just removing the bubbles from the corners that is stuck in there. So again, with a little heat, I will be removing all the bubbles. So these are few steps if you don't have any vacuum chambers or pressure pots and you are just doing the resin by itself. So try to use low viscosity resin and these few steps and you will get a very, uh, you can say 95% clear. I won't say it's 100% but 95% clear resin. So now I'm pouring the resin and I will be filling it up but not to the top. And again, a little bit of heat. And with my silicon tool, I will be moving it around the resin so that the bubbles will rise up. So now here I have mixed my uh, resin, black resin here and you can see I have added a very little resin to the black pigment because I'm doing the same thing here. So just setting up my camera to show you how I will be pouring the drops. And again, little by little, I will be adding the resin into the mold. So it's all done now and I will leave this to cure. So just showing you if the process is now started and it will float itself. So see you next day. So this is the next day and let's demold. And by next day, it's just a surprise. Let's see how this turned out. So the reason we can see itself. the effect that has been made.
So let's see how it turned out. So this is how it looks like. So I thought to make the uh, bracelet this time uh, half, but then I decided to do the full just to see if we can do size variations. But and it turned out perfect. So if you can use very less uh, black color, if you want a very less smoky effect, but I want it a bit on the heavy grudgy side. So that's why I was uh, pouring more pigment into the mold. So this is how it turned out and now I will be taking these to next level because I never stop when I demold. So this is the skull that I thought I will be putting onto the bracelet here. So there will be many variation coming your way. So this is how these both turned out. You can leave them like that and you can wear them. It's really up to you because by themselves they look amazing. But um, I really never stop. I need to do something to jazz them up. So here I will be what I'll be doing here for this one I was thinking of so many ideas and I really wanted to show the effect as well so I had this brass stamping so I thought why not add something to the end because I was uh, to me they were looking a bit on the empty side so I'm just setting up it setting it up. So here I'm using these brass stamping and I'm just making them according to the size to uh, fit the cuff ending and with the help of flyer I will be shaping them up so that they perfect uh, fit perfectly onto the ends so here you go they fit perfect so you can use uh, put them using UV resin but I use super uh, gorilla glue and I use them to fix the endings. So I will be adding the other one now. So this is how it looks and I'm really loving it how it looks. So you can stop here. It's really up to you. So on to the second one. And for this one, I was thinking of so many ideas. I had this uh, crystal. You can see, see resin crystals that I made out, out of some extra resin that I had. So these were really hard. So a tip here is that if you have some sort of crystals like that, you can simply use your heat gun for a few seconds so you can warm up the resin piece so it can get bendy or in other words, you can dip this piece into a warm water for some time and again it will become soft and you can bend it according to your design, whatever way you like it. So first I was thinking of putting them on the edges here. So you can, see, you can see it fits perfectly but later on I decided something really different so I will be showing you what so I did. So I decided to uh, make something really different here. So you can see the opening which is of the cuff I am using it to put this crystal to make it a closure. So it's looking lovely. I'm just selecting the position I want to put this on. So this cluster is made out of resin. So things do come in handy when you have some extra resin. I do pour in crystal cluster molds or like this. So you can see here it, it really came handy for me. So I'm using this Gorilla glue here. It's a really amazing glue and it really holds everything very nicely. So here I put my crystal cluster on it, on it and I will leave this to dry for you can say few uh, hours. Although it dries up really fast but still I did give it few hours. So while it's been drying, I had another skull. So this is the white one that I showed you and this is the one that is silver. So I just used simply a spray paint on a skull and I turned it into silver. So now if there is no Halloween, you can stop it like here. And this is a beautiful cuff on its own adding this crystal, uh, crystal cluster. But I'm making a Halloween theme uh, bracelet cuff here. So I will be doing something extra. So this is the skull and I will be adding it on top of it and it's looking amazing. I just love it. I know a lot of you say sometimes that I do get overboard by, with my additions, but it's really, you know, it's something I do make statement jewelry. So I really get overboard sometime. But this was setting up so perfect. So adding a dollop of glue and then I will be adding some air dry clay to it that I normally use for attaching my uh, creations. 
and I'm just putting it and then again a dollop of glue on top to make everything extra secure and then I will be adding this skull and here how it looks like something so simple turn into an amazing jewelry and you can say this is a statement bracelet on its own so i will leave this to dry and after that i will be doing something else to my other bracelet this is the one so you all know that i love everything moon related so i really wanted to add this charm into this bracelet so I have my aid dry clay here so I will be adding a little bit of glue onto the resin piece here and then I will be adding this I will be putting these jump rings so both of the jump rings are on now so I will leave this to dry and just a little more detail I want to add is that I'm I made some leaves out of the same clay here I'm putting the clay onto the bracelet And then with my exacto knife i'm making the leaf and i will leave this to dry and see you next day so this is the next day and now i'm using my uh, j addiction uh, high viscosity uv resin so i have a discount code for this resin this is a really amazing uv resin so what i will be doing here is for this one i used normal epoxy but for this one i'm using my uh, uv resin to do the same thing i'm just covering up and doing a top coat so to avoid the sharp edges that we have on the top of this one So after adding the resin, I will be putting this under the UV lamp and this UV lamp is by Estoyo. So this is really amazing UV lamp. I have set off this Estoyo. I have a bigger one and a smaller one. It comes in a set and they are amazing. So again, I have a discount code for this UV lamp if you like to treat yourself. Meanwhile, I'm working on my cuffs. So you know that I made these pendants out of the leftover resin. So we will be doing something to them as well. So I thought why not make pendants out of them? So I'm drilling a hole in this one. So I've made a hole in this one. For this one, I was doing the same thing, but then uh, some idea came into my mind and I really wanted to change the direction of this pendant. So I'm not making any hole in this one. So here is, is the finished cuff that I was showing you. I added the charm. So... I really i was so happy how this turned out it's really simple on the front and with the effect and for the ending i'm so happy about that so this is the wax that i will be using for my leaves that i made with the clay so everything gets balanced so you can make really simple stuff out of resin it's really up to you but i do take my things a bit step up so this is idea for everyone those who want to make unique stuff out of resin because everyone is making the same thing these are the same molds but you need to step up your game for if you want to sell them so you can see how these turned out from simple uh, bracelets of resin you can turn them into something amazing and a wow project so this is how i end up doing the pendant here so these are all done so let's see the final look how these all turned out so these are the final look and this is how the bracelets turned out so this is just an idea and i was going for a halloween theme plus i wanted to give some bloody smoky effect here but you can add flowers to to it you can add cellophane paper or a fantasy paper to these and then you can add crystal clusters to the way i show you and you don't want to add skulls in there with these effects you can add flowers as well they really go well before i was thinking of adding the flowers but then i really wanted to keep them simple for halloween and then you can add these extra details something really different to just enhance your project so i just just really love how these turned out and these are the pendants simple pendants but perfect for you can add crystals as well in them if you want to 
so i hope you like these and if you did please do let me know in comments and also please like subscribe and share thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed please consider do so and thank you so much thank you really really thank you i appreciate each of the comment i do read them and try to reply as soon as possible but uh, these days i am getting so many comments but i am so happy about that and i am i really don't have words but i have all my gratitude to you thank you so much take good care of yourself bye bye